guys always here uh, thank you so much for high appreciation of my previous video about corruption and economical situation in ukraine and as you told me that you are interested on that kind of topics uh, i decided to make uh, another video today about what do ukrainians think about other countries who are enemies and friends of ukraine officially we don't have enemies so this is a good news for you for example like um, armenia and azerbaijan they are really enemies according to each other because of some historical events also uh, for example uh, israel and palestine or uh, egypt and israel and uh, actually a lot of different countries <laughs> Uh, uh so much and uh, they are actually enemies to each other ukrainians officially don't have any enemies so we are pleasant to every country every nation we love everyone um, and uh, uh, i mean officially it means that official policy don't say that this country is bad this whole country is bad they are any, our enemies and you need to be aware of them no so officially we are kind to all of the people uh, but of course in reality some person can don't like americans for example another person can don't like arabians the third person don't like russians or any other nation but it's uh, mostly depends from person and from its own life experience so for example if this person worked in some arabian country and had a bad uh, experience with them so this person start to hate all of that uh, all of them but another person can work and uh, have a great experience on that country and uh, she or he can say that wow those people are really cool so it's everything about um, personal likes and dislikes but officially we don't have any enemies russians of course i think it's a very interesting question because as you know that russia occupied a part of ukrainian territory and now they have war with ukraine and uh, they killed ukrainians so of course it's very interesting how we um what we think about russians but it's very interesting situation because uh, in general i just tell in general not about different person but in general people separate russia russian president putin and russians so these three categories they are totally different for us uh, of course most of ukrainians don't like putin or it's better to say hate putin because he does a lot of bad things for ukraine most of ukrainians don't like him uh, russia as a country uh, less ukrainians don't like russia but still a lot because um, russia as a country uh, they have not very friendly policy according to ukraine and actually to other countries uh, in the world uh, russia as a country they love to break the rules uh, i mean that um, some rules about for example uh, after the second world war uh, all european countries arranged that we will keep this border and uh, nobody break this law more than uh, 50 years but russia decided to break this law because they think it's okay you know why not and uh, they also do a lot of um, very different things russia as a country uh, which ukrainians don't like and not only ukrainians actually but uh, a lot of people in the world so that's why um, also ukrainians don't like russia as a country because of its policy but uh, what about russians um, i can say that a lot of ukrainians don't like russians uh, of course some there are some um, like very nationalistic ukrainians who don't like anything related to russia but most of people have normal relationship just be between people uh, even me <laughs> i mean that um i don't like russia uh, as you probably noticed it but anyway if i meet some russian who will not say uh, something bad about ukraine you know because of course when they start to um offense you you can start a defense I will not think anything bad about him and I will have a normal conversation because I think that people uh, people are really different and most of Ukrainians think that that Russians uh, Russia and president of Russia this is three different category of people so most Ukrainians have normal relationship with average Russians but of course not about the whole country in general 
Um, okay, probably that's all what I can say about enemies and let's start to speak about friends of Ukraine. The first friend uh, of Ukraine is Poland. Poland is a country which is uh, near Ukraine actually, we are neighbors and in the past in um, we were enemies all the time, we fighted with each other, um, all the time we signed some agreement, then break this agreement and uh, fight it all the time. But uh, it was in the past and now uh, we are very good friends and uh, Poland is a great um, advocacy of Ukraine in the European Union and of course it's not because Poland loves Ukraine so much, it's just because Poland wants to protect their border and they need Ukraine like a buffer zone between Russia and Poland because if they will not help uh, Ukraine with every integration they will have Russia near their border and they are afraid of that uh, they don't want to have that near their border actually that's why Poland supports Ukraine so much uh, another friend of Ukraine is Georgia this is country uh, from the um, right side of Ukraine, our neighbor country. And um, Georgia had the same situation uh, back in 2008 like we have now with Russia. So Russia occupied part of Georgia, they started to bomb uh, their cities and uh, actually um, all neighbor country supports Russia because they were just afraid and they, was, um, they depended from Russia a lot. But Ukraine, of course, uh, didn't support that. Uh, Ukraine support Georgia and Ukraine um, supplied them a lot of tanks, weapons and uh, in general gave a lot of help and uh, Georgians uh, remember that and they now support Ukraine in the same situation so much because they understand us so much. They had totally the same situation and now we're also very good friends with them. European Union. Um, some people think that Ukraine Ukrainians want to join to you so much and that's why we protested in the Yevra revolution in 2013 but actually it's not true Ukrainians don't want to join to you uh, because they don't believe that it's possible <laughs> and um, now uh, I need to say that Ukrainians are very disappointed in the European Union because we had a few situations very hard for Ukraine. The first situation was where uh, our government started to kill our people, own people, and Ukrainians um, asked for help so much, but actually uh, they didn't get any help, only moral support that, okay, yes, we are with you, just uh, keep protesting, and that's all. Like when government start to kill our like their own people they actually didn't do anything uh, the next situation was when Russia occupied uh, Ukraine and also Ukrainians uh, asking for help but nobody helped and the third situation of course it's war and most of the time we have only moral support yes of course they support uh, us in some ways but of course we all understand that most of the time they don't want actually deal with Ukraine and United States of America. What do Ukrainians think about them if Ukrainians hate Americans? No, Ukrainians have never said anything bad about Americans. It was in USSR and now it's in Russia or it was in Russia. President was Obama because now they support Trump so much and I think uh, maybe they changed their mind about Americans. But in any case they claimed uh, Americans and they said that they are responsible for all of their problems and that's why some people in Russia don't like Americans but Ukrainians don't claim uh, Americans in their problems that's why Ukrainians have normal relationship with Americans and to Americans you will see some American on the street nobody will tell you that uh, you're a bad person because of some political things no of course no uh, but of course also uh, when Ukraine refused from a nuclear weapon uh, we signed an agreement with Russia Russia, uh, United Kingdom and uh, United States of America that they will keep our border and actually they will protect our border if someone decided to take a part of Ukraine they will keep
keep uh, and protect our border because we refused from nuclear weapon. But what happened in 2013? Russia, which actually was one of the protectors of Ukrainian border, uh, took part of Ukraine. Of course, I think nobody was wondering because Russia never um, do what she signed uh, during the whole historical period. So it was not a surprise for anyone. But it was surprised that uh, USA and UK didn't do anything, only sanctions, but uh, actually sanctions, it's not protection of Ukrainian border. It's uh, the result of uh, like the result of breaking rules, but this is not protection. And uh, that's why a lot of people were wondering, so how United States, um, such a strong uh, country, country which all the time uh, keep the rules, uh, they actually didn't do anything and they just let uh, part of Ukraine go and yeah so a lot of people just were wondering so because we know that European Union don't want to argue with Russia especially some countries because they depend from Russia so much so it's okay we understand that but we were wondering how like USA can't uh, do anything and can't keep this what they signed but in general of course we love USA we think everything only good things about it uh, even nowadays when the Trump <laughs> became president because every evening I read uh, some um, articles in Forbes, in BBC, in um, other like respectable like newspapers, uh, uh, journals. Uh, but um, I will never see something very bad about Trump. Most of the time we have some neutral articles, um, nothing good, nothing bad. So this is what we have now. I think Ukrainians don't know what to expect from Trump. That's why now we just have neutral, very neutral uh, articles about what's going on in states uh, so it was all the situation which I can describe for you and I hope this information were interesting and also guys write me in the comments what your country think about Ukraine if in general people think about this something or people actually don't know anything about Ukraine I think it will be very interesting to read for me and my followers love you guys all waiting for your comments bye